Hey guys, I told you that I will create a video on using 3.js to load animated 3D models. But before we can do that, I want to explain how to launch and debug JavaScript code. And I have a simple 3.js example here that I'm hosting on a local web server. And the development environment is VS Code. So when I press this button, go live, my default browser Chrome is opened and a simple GLTF file with a low poly character and an idle animation is loaded. For this I'm using 3.js, which is a JavaScript framework. In the previous tutorial I already explained how to host an example like that on a local web server by using a VS Code extension. It is this one here, Live Server, and the link to the tutorial is added to the description below. It is very easy to use to run the HTML file in your default browser. Just press the Go Live button or Alt LO on your keyboard. Ok, but what I want to do now is to debug the JavaScript code. And for this you need another extension, you can search for it. And it is called Debugger for Chrome. Here it is, I press the button Install. And the extension is installed in the background. And to actually use it with the Chrome browser we need a launch configuration. Here you can see two examples, one for the server side. When you are hosting your files on a web server like we do, and the other configuration is for client-side, HTML and JavaScript. Ok, so I'm closing this now and then I go to my JavaScript code and let's say I want to add a breakpoint in the function init. Then I go to the debugging tab in VS Code and here I can add a launch configuration. I click this link and you see we don't have configurations added yet, so we can just press add configuration in the lower right hand corner and from this templates here I select Chrome launch. Alright, the web root is set to the workspace folder, that's ok. And the URL is set to the file that I want to debug. It is hosted on my local web server with the port 5500 in the examples folder and the file is called GLTF model loading HTML. Ok, and now I can press this launch button here and my Chrome browser is opened. But before the content is displayed we are hitting the breakpoint that I set in the init function and now we can go through the code while it is executed. You can use these buttons here to step over the code to go to the next line or you press the F10 key. You can also go into the code, for instance into a function or you stop the debugger and if you want to just continue the execution you can press this button or press F5. Ok, on the left side you can always see the local variables or when I press F10 I step to the next line and the clock is created and we can see the values here in the variables. That's important when you are developing more complex logic, also for finding errors or understanding the control flow. If you are interested to see special variables you can add these to the watch. I already had the scene variable added which is a class so I can open the hierarchy and see the values for the members. Let's do this for a different variable, for instance here the hemilite. I press F10 to go through the code, then I right click the hemilite when it is instantiated and add it to the watch. With this feature it is easy to track variables that are outside of your local scope. Ok, then I press F5 to continue the execution and then we see the result in the browser. In the next tutorial I will show you how to create this example here. I will show you how to write code with 3.js to load a GLTF model with a looping animation. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when the next one is online. Also support me by being my patron or join here as a member on YouTube. This would be great. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And I'll see you guys here on JNM.